I thought was a very uh, amusing catchphrase by Usman. I don't want, know where Usman is, but uh, to ask <laughs> <laughs> uh, to ask those who are um, you know presenting to keep to time uh, and to say I really am extremely uncomfortable cutting off people. So please don't make me cut you off. <laughs> um, we don't have the card person today. Allison's not carding today. No, okay. So uh, no watch. what we'll do is we'll give you a 10 minute warning and a 15 minute warning, okay, orally. Um, the second uh, request would be for um, those who, so we talk, spoke, spoke already about the participants and keeping your phones uh, quiet to all the presenters to please stick to time as strictly as you can. Tiki and I will give you warnings. Uh, and the third was uh, to those who will ask questions later. Uh, as Osman said, when you, when you're asking, okay. Um, I think you've seen from the format yesterday, in fact, there is a, a huge range of presentations in the morning and the intent was not really to go into deep discussion. We don't have a lot of time for that in any case. Uh, so we may actually invite you to speak to the presenters directly if you have more deep questions and to also seek to go to the side sessions uh, to really get into more debate or discussion. So if you don't mind, I'd like to just remind you all through your conference guide uh, what we're gonna cover today. So if you uh, would like to look, it's page 20 and 21. Uh, this morning, we have a huge range of panelists. Uh, in the global morning session, we will have Denny Maire from WHO who will cover the PQS update. We have Dreji Hailu from UNICEF Copenhagen who will speak on the cold chain equipment technologies and the cold chain support package that I referred to yesterday. We have Benjamin Schreiber from UNICEF New York who will speak about temperature monitoring uh, evidence. Debbie will set us up uh, to walk us into how uh, we're proceeding with the country level presentations on country innovations, extending the reach of vaccines with CCC CCE and other innovations. And we are very pleased to present uh, three persons from the Ministries of Health of Senegal to speak about long holdover passive storage. From Vietnam, Dr. Kung to speak about solar direct drive. And from Dr. Lando to speak about implementing a control temperature chain with Men, and, men A. And then uh, Pat Lennon will be our moderator for the questions. So as you can see, we're, we're kind of moving on from yesterday, where yesterday we spoke about kind of the basics and getting the essentials right uh, and redesign. And today we're basically focusing more, if you will, on the hardware, on how to equip the si system properly to be as efficient as possible. There are a range, I'd like to remind you again, there are a range of activities that go on outside the session today from nine to 12. Uh, on page 21, you'll see in the New York room, which is downstairs, from one to two, there will be uh, a session moderated by Robert Stan Steinglass on the optimal number of doses per vaccine vial session. In addition, if you return to page 37 of your guide, you will see from one to two, there's also the Innovations Cafe of the vaccine cold chain in Turkey. And you have remote temperature monitoring, alerts and analytics for a smarter vaccine chain, moderated by Nextleaf. And the Innovations Cafe happens in the ballroom foyer, just outside. You also have, um, if you turn to the back, the green pages, page 40 through 45, you have a range of project uh, gallery and the, meaning the poster session and the video gallery uh, that occurs downstairs uh, that you are free to um, maneuver through. And as well, you have the manufacturer's marketplace. So just to say, it's a, you know, it's a day again that we have set up for you to move around. So during the two hour lunch break, during the long coffee breaks, we invite you to feel free to go visit these additional sessions. Oh, great. Do you have to hand it out? Do you want to say something? Yes. So uh, we printed out um, for
for the updates for today's agenda. But all, all the pages are together, so the ones that Diana together so that you know that there are multiple sessions happening at lunchtime and multiple sessions happening at the coffee break. So it makes it easier to know what's happening when. So you don't have to flip through all the pages. You can refer to the printout here because everything that's happening today is on that printout. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, so with that, we will move into the presentations of Denny Mayer, if you're ready. Good morning. Is that on? Yeah. Good morning. So uh, let me start with uh, two quick, quick questions. Um, who has never heard about PQS? Please raise your hand. Patrick, of course. I knew it. Who is checking the website regularly? Wow. Okay, so that's really uh, impressive. Okay, so today we are entering a new session uh, which is related to how do we equip the, the supply chain. Um, you have heard yesterday how to design a supply chain and now we have to look at how to equip. Uh, for those who don't know my name, uh, I'm called Monsieur PQS. Uh, but you can call me Denis, it's fine. I am part of uh, a small team in WHO, uh, which in fact does pre-qualification of vaccines. And in that team, I am in charge of the pre-qualification of immunization devices. So my intention here in uh, such a limited time of immunization devices, then very quickly give you the results of that pre-qualification and then go into the heart of this, the topic, which is how does it fit in improving uh, the supply chain. So in terms of process, PQS is mainly doing the pre-qualification, as I was saying, uh, of immunization devices from cold rooms to syringes, safety boxes, cold boxes, and so on. To do that, we do, we do an evaluation of the products against certain standards. Uh, and that is in two ways. devices, and then we are going to use international standards that are already existing. Or if it's not a medical device, then we have to develop our own uh, standards. So that's what we do. Um, but another activity that is quite important is to monitor uh, the performance in the field of those devices. And so we try to get information from the field, from partners, uh, all those who are involved in the use of those devices, uh, in order to inform uh, the of the standards is done by uh, a group that we call the Specification Working Group. And we have representative from Gavi, UNICEF Supply Division. Pat